Hi, Rob Saya. Uh, in this video, we're going to be learning about soft bodies in the Ghetto 4 game engine using an add on called Soft Body 2D. The add on is available for Ghetto 4.1 but still kind of works in 4.3, and I really hope that they update it to 4.3. But it kind of works because it doesn't require any features that were changed in the uh, 4.3 update, so should be able to use it in the latest version so yeah let's go ahead and get started so here's the thing let's go ahead and uh, let's create a new scene uh, let's forget that let's go to the iset library and uh, let it load my internet it's extremely slow so you'll have to get away that that so let's go ahead and search for soft body soft body 2d so here it is let's go ahead and click on it and click download when it's installing uh, let me tell you that uh, let's go ahead into 3d and another node you can see there is another node called soft soft body 3d which means that Gido has default support for 3d soft bodies but it doesn't have for 2d ones that's why we're using a plugin here we'll make a video on 3d soft bodies uh, sometime later because uh, the thing is my computer is quite weak and I can only run on compatibility and uh, so it's really hard for me to make videos about 3d th stuff so I just kind of prefer 2d let's go to the asset library and we got it ins download it let's install it and it's installed let's go ahead and go to project, project settings uh, into plugins and turn on soft body now that we have that we got some samples here let's forget forget them and let's go to the scene let's go ahead and search for soft body 2d i already searched for soft so here it is soft body let's create a soft body 2d node and in the inspector you can see there are some options uh, you can see there's an arrow that tells there's no texture so let me explain how soft body works most of the time uh, in programming uh, in general, when we think about creating 2D soft bodies, the uh, really popular method is using joints. You create multiple points uh, in an object and connect all of them using joints. So that way, when one of the points interacts with a physical object, then all the other joints re react physically in the in physics so that just makes it kind of realistic uh, this plugin uses a similar concept and like makes it easy to set up let's go ahead go to the let's go to the texture here. there here we are going to be assigning the texture i'm going to go ahead and assign the default png and we got it here and that's all we needed to do and we got our stuff set up uh, you can see that that uh, uh, this let uh, there is a polygon here that uh, like uh, lets you define the regions, but these are the regions that are set up. Let's go ahead, go to draw regions. Once you do that, all of the nodes here turn into polygon nodes. These are just for visual representation, and uh, uh, until this button is checked off, nothing is going to work. So make sure you check this off before you want to run it, or else you will be like like me figuring out why it doesn't work for like an hour so that's just how it there the show shapes show you the collision shape uh, this is the areas that will collide and that's it so you can uh, like change the vertex in intervals uh, you can see uh, this will like uh, you know uh, make uh, bigger boxes and lesser boxes so the lesser this, this is the more detailed the stuff is going to be uh, the default was 18 so let's just not change that so here we are uh, so let's go ahead and let's click this off and let's create a static body 2d to test this stuff out let's go ahead and create a static body static body 2d let's add a collision shape collision shape and uh, let's just go ahead and create a square shape let's try let's just go ahead and lock this one and 
choose this to track it here most of the time when you're using ghetto the thing is when you like using this one it's really hard to like move the parents like so a good trick i use is to lock the children so only the parent moves so i can just move the parent along with the children uh, this is just a nifty trick here unlock this guy and let's change the let's just position it actually good let's go ahead and change this and right here let's go to the soft body and move it as you can see now i've just selected one bone and it moves i'm not able to move like these guys here so that's just quite quite annoying and i really find it insanely annoying so a good thing i i do is just like uh, you know lock these children but uh, come on who oh, is gonna lock all of these guys so let's just go ahead and oh my god this is too, you can see there are too many bones here so select the skeleton 2d and lock this so all of the children will be locked as well so now you can move these sick out oh shit you see moving it becomes a hassle here and i i really hate this bad kiddo uh, there should be some way to like uh, lock all of these children maybe there is but uh, uh you know i was gonna go to the hassle Uh, yeah actually i did it <laughs> yeah so there's uh, actually i did it i locked all of the children there uh this will actually just let me not s uh, select these and only select the parent and this way i'm just i'm gonna be able to move the guy uh there's nothing wrong with these being locked it will wouldn't affect anything in any way let's go to debug and turn on visible collision shape uh, this is another trick so i don't have to add sprites just use this one as sprite uh, you can change the color here just if you don't like this and let's run the current scene and let's see if the physics work and boom we got it uh, you can see these dots show this is these are when you turn on visible collision shape uh, this normally happens uh, this shows the impact points uh, let's just place it a little higher so you can see the impact a bit more Let's go ahead and run it. And it's gonna be taking some while. I got a potato piece here. And you can see it's stretched and stuff like that. And it's coll colliding with each other. So it's just creating that jittery stuff. Um, I recommend using a like less number of these points uh, if you, for shapes that are simpler. So yeah, that's kind of it for today's video. And uh, I know there's a bit more to cover about this add-on, uh, but uh, I'll say that uh, uh, you should like try this add-on for yourself. Uh, as I always tell you, my computer is quite weak, so yeah, most of the time I'm really not able to test most of the stuff. So when these kind of things pop up, like 2D stuff, I really am excited. And you should check out the demos that they provide, and uh, I'm gonna be linking the GitHub repository for this one. And you can check it out and uh, support the developers uh, i think it's a really good effort and i might try to do some projects and or jam like stuff with this so that's kind of it that's and i'll see you in the next one support me on patreon